Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area. And I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So it's a vlog today. Um, it's, I think this will be part of the weekly snaps, but today is a kind of special day. So being a uh, singer around here, uh, I have many singer friends and I have um, been part of uh, an opera company for a while and we were shut down due to the pandemic. But today our costume designer has been commissioned to make a domed singing mask to hopefully um, allow for safe singing. So we're gonna try it out today. So I'm meeting her and a bunch of um, other singers in a public, we're gonna be at a park, it's not gonna be inside. And we're all gonna be standing 10 feet away from each other and we're gonna sing with masks on and hopefully not poison ourselves with our own carbon dioxide. <laughs> but um, hopefully it'll be a good time. So um, I'm excited, it could be fun. So I'm gonna leave in like, I'm gonna leave right now, actually. I'm supposed to meet my friend there. We're singing a duet we've never sang together before. So we're gonna go and practice beforehand and then we'll um, do it. It's gonna be live streamed on Facebook, I think. So, oh, <laughs> right. Uh, but I'll take you guys with me and we'll, we'll, we'll have a good time. This is really special because I haven't seen a lot of my opera friends in a while um, because we, just, we were just immediately shut down and we didn't get to like say goodbye to each other. You know, when the pandemic happened, we got our show canceled and I think that was that. It was very like weird. Um, so I'm gonna be really happy to be making music with some friends and seeing some friends, even if I can't hug them, it's gonna be great. When tyrants turn us sick with and hear the Closer to yeah, a little bit closer. Okay. So, you're not gonna be so this is David in his beautiful mask. It's got a front scarf piece that can be tucked in or not. The jaw is completely free. Move your jaw. There we go. <laughs> it's got corset boning that goes around to hold the mask out from the face as well as out from the nose. It's got an aluminum strip to hold it tight over the nose so your glasses don't fog. It's got a scarf tie in back so you can get it on and off. Oh, spider. Oh, spider. <laughs> um, it's got a curved buckle back for easy on off. <laughs> it's got a Velcro strap on elastic for adjustment to the back of the head. Awesome, thank you. Well, thanks for you too. Awesome. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. It's so nice to see we people, did. other people. Yay. Yay. Hello guys. Oh, can you see me? Yeah, you can see me. I'm like kind of, this is like weird lighting because I'm in a garage, but, and I promise I have a shirt on, but just, you know, um, I'm in my car for the first time in <laughs> three months. Well, I've been in my car. I've just been a passenger. I haven't actually driven my car. Um, my husband's been driving my car a lot, but I haven't actually driven my car since March. And it always feels weird if you haven't driven your car for more than a month. Like if you go away, you know, for like a month and you don't drive, and then you come back and you get in your car and you're like, do I, how do I drive? What, what do I do? What does this button do? You know, it's just really weird. But then like after five minutes, you're like, oh yeah, 
that's fine. Um, that's how I feel, but I feel weird because I'm out. It's the first time I've really been out anywhere besides the grocery store and like a hardware store since the pandemic started because things are opening. Um, but I don't, I don't, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't feel good about it. So I'm at the doctor's office. I'm having, um, TMI. I'm having a pelvic ultrasound today. They're going to map all of my like fibroids, um, in my uterus. So I'm very excited. <laughs> um, so, and then we're after, we, you know, we figure out what exactly is going on. We'll just, we'll do a little treatment plan. Um, and we'll go from there. I guess, um, maybe he'll recommend surgery cause it's just like it, the symptoms are really bothersome at this point. So I just want to go ahead and like treat them instead of like getting some sort of hormone treatment like with like um Mirena or something or you know any kind of other treatment that it's like a, a let's wait and see kind of treatment I just want to like get it done but um so I'm here at the office and it's weird to be in a place that's not a grocery store right now like I'm in the garage first of all I did the best backing in job of my life in this parking spot like chef's kiss backing in backing in my dad was the king of backing in and I am grateful to say that I have inherited the super backing in jeans <laughs> back into parking spaces um so I love backing in because then you can just roll out you know like you get back in your car you, ah! you like roll out you don't have to like do the whole three-point turn you know anyway <sighs> I'm here I'm eight minutes early seven minutes early so I'm gonna like just look in my instruction manual real quick so that I can figure out how to set my, like, seat program. Because I know that's a thing. I think all I have to do is press the button here. Because my husband drives his car too, and he's taller than me. And when I have to reset the, the mirrors in the seat all manually, I get annoyed. If that is available to be done automatically, <laughs> I want to do that. So... I'm going to um, just really quickly figure out how to do that, and then I will um, go have, um, I'll go get, get probed. Ugh. It's not, it's very invasive. Uh, you, you ladies who've had him, you know how it is. It's like, get out of there. All right, I'll, I'll see you later after it's done. It's the next day, and um, in addition to my uh, ultrasound that I had the doctor, I also had a endometrial... Uh, biopsy, which I wasn't planning on, and uh, I'm uncomfortable today still. Uh, if you've had this done, you know this is an extremely uncomfortable procedure. So um, I'm kind of mad about it, but it, I mean, if he had to do it, he had to do it. So um, whatever, it's fine. I, I did get my fibroids mapped, and I got like one giant one in the back, one big one in the front, and a big one on top, and several little ones inside. So, I got them all over. It's good times. The biggest one was five centimeters. That's like, I think that's like the size of like a plum or something. So, uh, I think we're going to have to take them out. But, uh, I guess I'll wait till I get my test back. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm feeling crappy today. But I had two interviews. <laughs> well, it's feeling crappy. Both are like media. Um, so I had to pretend like I was doing, you know, having a good time. That's the only reason I have on lipstick because otherwise it's mask time and lipstick doesn't happen. But another good thing happened is I got my... Uh, table finally complete and it, look at it it's very pretty look look at the table yes finally I got this table it's the peacock table I love it so much and I'm um, looking forward to enjoying it now finally hello it's uh what's today the 18th June 18th 5:56. so um, I told my husband that I was gonna take the day off today but um, I am I am not I just shot a video for that's going to be available um, at a conference in the fall, um, but I am making that video available to um, members, um, to like the, the top tier members, um, just because it's like a, a deep dive video, like a kind of a longer content. So um, if you are interested in getting access to that content, um, become a member. <laughs> um, I don't really talk about the membership stuff very often, but um, it's been uh, really fun to have some of you guys be members of my channel that means uh paying a small 
fee every month in order to support the channel. So um, I'm really happy that some of you have done that and I feel really blessed to have um, really amazing supporters like you guys. So, um, so I did that and um, what else did I do? I took care of some stuff for a client. I was answering emails, talking to some people at the container store um, because they're like trying to reopen, but like not really, it's kind of crazy. Um, and I'm grabbing coffee. So I can say, wait, where's my coffee? Where's my coffee? Grabbing coffee so that I can um, get it up to do another voiceover for a video that I think I'm gonna publish on next Friday. So um, if I can get that done and get it uploaded and get the other ones uh, edited and uploaded, I will be so happy. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Do you hear this noise? Do you hear this noise? This is the coffee maker. Ooh. Wait, listen, listen. <laughs> oh, Clover, are you okay? What is that? <laughs> so let's go to my voiceover studio with coffee. Here we go, my official voiceover studio. Are you guys ready? Voiceover studio. Here it is, my voiceover studio, also known as my closet with a curtain so that I can get good sound. This is the glam life, you guys. I don't think that you realize how glamorous this is. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, it's the most glamorous thing you've ever seen. Well, I am a hot mess and a half because I was late for my own VIP live chat again. I don't know what my problem is. Um, I can't keep my stuff together, but look at that. Um, I finished one voiceover and I'm working, I was working on editing another, um, not a voiceover, but like another video. Um, but I guess I can move my get up to my office because I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired of sitting on the floor. I'm going to be honest. I'm tired of sitting on the floor. It's a hot mess. Um, and uh, my whole, like this, this, <laughs> this is a little bit uncomfortable, but I, uh, I brought some stuff home from our second storage. We have a second storage, secret second storage in my mother-in-law's house. Um, that was when it, we, it was stuff that we put away when we moved in together. My husband and I moved in together that was you know, that we didn't have room for in our last apartment because we lived we moved into a one bedroom but now we have a little more room and i brought some stuff in like this curtain was in my like bachelorette pad it was like my blackout curtain but i used it to make a door for our closet so um i'm gonna take a look at some of the other stuff i brought in and see if I can use some of that stuff. So th the first thing I didn't want to do though is move some of this junk <laughs> out of here and then back into the office. Good morning. Um, what's today? The 24th? Um, very excited. It's the 24th or the 23rd? I don't 23rd. Oh my gosh. So um, I, I've had a good morning. We had a good walk this morning with Clover. He's like there just chilling right now. And um, I'm very excited because tomorrow on HGTV is the premiere of Cass's show on, a, on I said on HGTV, called uh, Hot Mess House. So, or is, is she's Canadian, so she would say Hot Mess House. <laughs> so I'm very excited to check that out. I'm really proud of Cass. She's awesome. She's so amazing and a super nice person, as like most Canadians are. Is that a thing? Like, Personally, I th everyone I've met who's either Canadian or while I was in Canada has been like a super nice person. I may be biased because I'm married to a half Canadian. <laughs> but um, every time I've been to Canada, I've been to PEI, uh, which was, oh my gosh. I need to go back to PEI because it was like chef's kiss, so good. Um, and I also was in Vancouver for a couple of weeks doing an early music program a little while ago and it was like the most fun I'd had in a while and the BC campus, university campus, it's gorgeous. Oh my God, lavender everywhere. Oh my God. <sighs> anyway, now that I'm done fawning over Canada, I can have the rest of my coffee. So I have some work to do this morning. What I really want to do is play Animal Crossing. I know I have a problem. I have a problem. However, um, I need to get some work done. I'm doing the towels and linens for the master bathroom because it's dirty again. I don't know how, we're here all the time and things are dirty all the time. And I haven't put away um, the stuff 
from this box. I don't know if you can see, yeah, that's the box I brought from uh, my mother-in-law's house, the stuff that she was holding from, um, we have some a bunch of stuff at her house that's like larger, or, like furniture we didn't use. So we're slowly going through it, having to like get rid of stuff, go through stuff, bring it here. So I'm gonna go through some of that stuff this morning while I have the energy. Um, maybe I'll do my, my work for tomorrow's live stream first. I think I'm gonna do that first. Um, so I'll see you in a little while. Hello, it's Friday and I uh, just picked up my order from the container store and I'm going to organize my closet now or finish my closet. So I think that'll be another episode. Um, so I hope you guys are having a great week. Oh, so the biopsy came back negative. I don't have cancer, so thank goodness. Um, um, but the fibroids are like super, um, they're big. So. I have a consultation with a surgeon later in the month, July, to hopefully get some treatment, um, surgical treatment. So I'm, I guess I'm feeling okay about that. So maybe I only have a couple more months to be uncomfortable. Um, but I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna end the video here and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm very excited about doing my closet right now. Um, Clover is too. He just came with us to the container store. <laughs> I dropped my husband off at um, my mother-in-law's to go. He went to go organize some stuff there. But um, I hope you guys are having a great morning, great evening, wherever you are. And I hope this vlog wasn't too crazy. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.